Su Yen, debuted in the Jiaxia team in the fourth season and retired in the same season, but he is the most shining star of the glory golden generation. Starting the entire season as a solo starter, never losing a single game. Title Death God Veterans never die, they will only gradually wither, but the classic gameplay is timeless. At the Xingxin Online Club, the young man's face lit up with a bright smile as he looked at the internet administrator surname Ji, whose eyes were widened in surprise, and the female boss, whose delicate body was constantly trembling with her mouth covered. I'm back. Keywords of the novel Full-time expert Return of Death with no pop-ups, full-time expert. Return of Death TXT Complete Collection Download, full-time expert. Return of Death Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1. I'm back you are listening at novel full.audio. Chapter 1. I'm back H City, Xingxin Network Club. At this moment, the press conference of H City's Glory Club Jiaxer is being broadcasted in the hall. Ten years ago, the major teams of today had no embryonic form at that time. If we put the treble champions of that time in the current league, they might not even be considered third-place winners. The reality is that strong teams emerge one after another. If you are still immersed in the past achievements, then you can only walk narrower and narrower until you are far behind. Since I have chosen to take over this honor and become the captain of Jiaxia, I hope that from now on, Everyone will talk about Jiaxer no longer being the treble champion of the past. But the current first team. On the big screen, Sun Xiang, the new captain of Jiaxer, is arrogant and has attracted countless fans, but there are also many people who cannot stand him. Actually, what he said is right, commented a netizen surnamed Yi sitting beside him. What? Chen Guo, the owner of the internet cafe next to him, didn't realize what he was saying. The old people will rest, and new people will emerge one after another. This is a natural law that no one can change. Yi Xiu shook his head. But. However, the old people do not mean they are deserters, and the new people do not mean they are invincible in the world. Suddenly, a voice rang out in the crowd. Upon hearing this sound, both of them froze in place. It's him. Chen Guo suddenly turned back. How? Yi Xiu suddenly turned back. In the world of glory, there are never any new or old people, only those who love glory. The crowd parted ways, revealing a young man with his right hand in his pocket and his left hand carrying a backpack backwards. Who is strong and who is weak? We'll have to fight before we know, right? His healthy wheat colored skin couldn't conceal his handsome face at all and his emaciated figure stood straight, adding a touch of solidity. Su Yen. Yi Xiu widened his eyes. Chen Guo next to him tightly covered his mouth to prevent himself from shouting out loud. She was more joyful than surprised. The onlookers stopped watching the live broadcast and turned their attention to these three people, discussing and discussing. Who is this person? The boss looks very excited, someone whispered. At this time, most of the people in Xingxin's online club were loyal fans of Jiaxia and also regular customers of Xingxin. Soon, someone recognized the identity of the youth. I, this. He. He can't be Su Yen, can he? Although he recognized it, the person also looked incredulous. Su Yen. Which Su Yen? His companions around him haven't realized yet. Is there someone like this in the league? Su Yen. Who else can there be? Jusher's one. The one from the fourth season. The fourth season. Ha. Huh. You. You said he was. Death. The crowd was full of discussions. Under the exposure of insiders, the onlookers recalled the identity of this young man one after another. The Jiaxia Exorcist, who debuted in the fourth season of that year, reached the pinnacle of his career. He ignored the rookie wall and became the king of singles in the fourth season, the most shining star in the golden generation. 
At the same time, it is also recognized as the god of death by fans, officials, and league players. Back then, he dominated the starting position of Jia Xiu's individual game, playing against all the top players in the league, whether they were frontline players, all-stars, or title holders. Whether it's Huang Xiaotian, the new golden generation player who debuted at the time, or seniors like magician Wang Jieshi who had already debuted for a season at the time, or veteran gods like bloody scenes, sweeping the floor and burning incense, and solitary smoke in the desert, I'll solve you in half a minute. One minute to solve you. Three minutes to solve you. Before every game starts, there is a saying that starts. Arrogant, but they have this capital. Saying that there won't be a 31st second in half a minute, and saying that there won't be a 61st second in one minute death wants you to die at the third watch, who dares to keep you until the fifth watch. The name of death comes from it. Throughout the season, I have never lost a single individual game. If it weren't for his style being restricted by character attributes and not being able to participate in team matches, I'm afraid the champion of the fourth season would be from the Jia Shir team again. Unfortunately, this genius god, who could not conceal his sharpness even during the golden era of starry clouds, was like a blooming epiphany, with only a fleeting moment of beauty. After retiring from the fourth season, he left without a trace. Now, after four years, this person has actually appeared at the internet cafe across from Jasher. How could he be here? Is he going back to the league? Can't he? He hasn't played a profession in four years, can he still keep up with it? It's hard for others to say, but it seems that this person's words are not bad either. You're right, this comeback, no matter how bad, is still at the level of a frontline player. What are you thinking? People just come back to find girlfriends. The speaker was a regular customer of Xingxin, who had been a frequent customer of internet cafes since his former boss was alive, so he knew a lot of insider information. What? The onlookers were startled by this sudden big melon. My girlfriend. Won't be. It's the landlady. Back then, these two were just acquaintances who watched us get together. However, I don't know why Su Yen left later, but I know these two didn't break up. I'll go. However, the focal point of the crowd's discussion did not pay any attention to their conversation, but instead focused on the two people, step by step walking out of the crowd and in front of them. A surprised old friend. Still too excited to speak. Lover. Su Yan's smile became increasingly bright on his face. Long time no see. As the words fell, the two people across from each other finally recovered from their shock. A certain internet administrator surnamed Yi quietly left with great discernment and integrated into the nearby onlookers. I only knew this kid had found a girlfriend back then, but I haven't met him before. No wonder I felt that the name Qin Gua sounded a bit familiar at the time, Yi Xiu muttered to himself. The audience present also stopped discussing. I won't watch the live broadcast, and I won't eat any more melons. Everyone looks at the opposite couple with a smile on their aunt's face. What? Live streaming is saying that Yi Shen has retired. You should know that some melons are far away in the sky, while others are right in front of you. Anyway, Yi Shen's retirement is already a foregone conclusion, and that kind of thing is also out of reach for them. The press conference is not a big deal, so if you look back at the replay, I missed it and didn't show you a replay. Simply put. Now Yi Chiu is just a younger brother, Jia Xiu press conference. How can there be a wonderful reunion after a long separation in front of us? The gaze of a man and a woman was completely focused on each other, and the man's smile was very gentle. The black eyes reflected the figure of the woman. The woman's dark pupils were misty at some point, but they clearly reflected the man's cheeks. This time. Won't you leave? The tone is very gentle, not at all like the usual sharp and agile female boss. But gentle yet with grievances and surprises. If you still have to leave, are you willing to come with me? It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Let go, let go. 
My face is about to fall off. Do you think it's so beautiful? Chen Guo pinched someone's cheek fiercely, gritting his teeth in anger. I've been away for four years, and when I come back, I've been joking with you. Am I too kind to you, kid? The crowd was filled with joy. I was wrong, I was wrong. Fruit, let go, it hurts, it hurts. Someone begged for mercy repeatedly, and the familiar feeling came back, humph. Chen Guo finally let go of Su Yen and let out a cold snort, but then his attitude changed. He took a step forward and hugged him tightly. Welcome back. Su Yen smiled and reached out to embrace his lover, I'm back. I won't leave this time, even if you drive me away. Chen Guo chuckled and said, it's shameless to smell. New book release, seeking collection, seeking recommendations, seeking investment, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Narration of the Past You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Narration of the Past Cheers in an Old Restaurant, Four Cups Lightly Touch Each Other Didn't it say three years? How did it take four years? Su Muqing, who was called over by Yi Xiu, looked at Su Yen sitting across from him and asked, putting down his cup. Sorry, I broke my promise. Su Yen shook his head. The matter will start from the summer break after the end of the third season, which was Su Yan's first game of fame in glory. In the wilderness PK, faced the autumn of the fighting god Iya, win one dot on point one by a narrow margin, and become famous in one battle. Afterwards, he was invited to join the Jia Shi team and made his debut in the fourth season. He started with an absolute advantage and defeated the captain of the Hundred Flowers team, then the league's top swordsman Sun Jiping. At that time, Su Yen and Chen Guo walked together and also made an agreement with their family. Although Su Yan's family is not wealthy or wealthy, they have been in the military for generations. However, in his generation, he is not very interested in joining the army. Although after discussion, the old man also compromised, but the requirement is to play a profession, only for one year. After one year, he must serve for at least three years, and do whatever he wants in the future. Although that was the case, Su Yen was already 19 years old at the time. He played professionally for one year and then joined the army for three years. At the age of 23, he was already a veteran in the league, and during the three-dot-year gap period, coupled with many military training, he was useless. After retiring, he could basically bid farewell to the league. But his grandfather insisted that he join the army, and he couldn't refuse this only relative. So in the fourth season, Su Yen, who had a gentle personality, was so crazy. Because he only has one year. After the end of the fourth season, Su Yen should go home and join the army. Before parting ways, he agreed that three years later, whether or not he wants to return to the professional circle after discharge, he will return to H City, after all, there are still people waiting for him here. However, I didn't expect that in the end, for years had passed and I only came back now. What exactly happened in this year? Chen Guo looked at him and asked. The military camp is not a secluded place, and in the first three years, Chen Guo occasionally received his phone calls. It wasn't until Su Yen was discharged that he said he would go to see her soon. But soon after, Chen Guo received another text message saying that it would be some time before he could see her. Once again, it will be another year. When I returned home, my grandfather had been sick for a long time, but he hadn't told me. Su Yan's eyelids drooped, and soon. He left. Afterwards. I was like a walking corpse for half a year, running around aimlessly until I finally recovered not long ago. Ian. Su Yan's parents sacrificed themselves when he was young, which was why he resisted joining the army. However, his grandfather was his only relative, and in the end, he joined the army for his grandfather's sake. Chen Guo lost her father at the age of 17, and she understands this feeling very well. When Su Yan told her that she wanted to wait for a while, she actually had some guesses, but didn't say anything. It's okay, it's already over. 
Su Yen shook his head and picked up chopsticks to pick up the vegetables. Let's eat. Your hand. Yi Xiao and Su Muqing, sitting opposite, only then noticed the abnormality in his right hand. Previously, Su Yen had been hiding his right hand in his pocket. Except for Chen Guo who had been with him privately for a while earlier, Yi Xiao and Su Muqing did not see it. Although his hands are still as slender as before, he has an extra glove. The thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and most of the palm are exposed, while the little thumb is completely wrapped. No the position of the little thumb is empty. Hmm. What about this? Su Yen rolled his hand and glanced, it's just a missing little thumb. Chen Guo clearly knew about this matter long ago, but his eyes still touched. Yen, what have you experienced in the past few years? Su Muqing also felt a bit uneasy. It's nothing, joining the army. It's inevitable that there will be accidents when fighting and killing. Su Yen tugged at the corner of his mouth, but his expression was somewhat gloomy. Compared to those who can't come back, it's already fortunate. What are your plans next? Yi Xiao knew the topic couldn't be heavy, so he quickly changed the topic. First, let's learn about the updated honor, and then elevate the Carlsas, the Light of Evil, and the Purple Dragon set to full level, said Su Yen. Carlsas, a professional exorcist, played the role of Su Yen in the professional league. He knew he only had one year left, so when he was invited to join Jiaxer, his account card was not sold to Jiaxer, but rented out. When he retired, he took it with him. The Light of Evil, the Silver War Sickle, the exclusive silver weapon of Carlsas, and the genius work independently developed by Su Yen. The Purple Dragon set, the exclusive silver outfit of Carlsas, was also developed by Su Yen himself after joining Jiaxer. Afterwards, let's see if any team is willing to take me as an old man. It's a pity that I didn't win the championship despite playing so well back then. Can you still fight now? Yi Xiao said with some concern. I'm just missing a little thumb, holding the mouse in my right hand doesn't have much impact, Su Yen said. When I become familiar with the current glory, I will still abuse you. Really? I'll wait. Yi Xiao smiled. Oh by the way, I'm a bit confused now, Chen Gua said. Yi Xiao, are you actually the great god of Yi Xiao? When Su Yen first returned, Chen Gua noticed that his relationship with the new network administrator he recruited was not ordinary. He just didn't think about it in that way. When he saw Su Muqing later, he realized even more foolishly. At that time, her thoughts were all on Su Yen, so she didn't ask. Now she can finally ask clearly. No, Su Yen suddenly said before Yi Xiao could speak. Ah. But you. And Mu Cheng. He is Yi Xiao, Su Yen smiled. As for Yi Xiao, he is just a younger brother. Yi Xiao Su Muqing there's no problem either. What does that mean? Chen Guo became even more confused. Let me explain. Yi Xiao couldn't help but laugh and cry. I'm Yi Xiao, and this is my real name. However, the person you know, Yi Xiao, is also me. I told you about this when I first met, but you don't believe it. Chen Guo remembered yesterday when this guy called himself Yi Xiao, he even joked that he was Su Muqing. Coincidentally, it was right across the street. At that time, Chen Gua and Su Yen were still boyfriend and girlfriend, but unfortunately, they hadn't met Yi Xiao and Su Muqing for a year. Well, mainly because Chen Gua's gaze was on Su Yen back then, and he never thought about it. No, Yi Xiao shook his head. The name Yi Xiao is also legal. That's his younger brother's name, Su Yen explained. This guy used to be like me, and his family didn't agree to play a profession but he was more serious than me. I agreed with my family that he would run away directly from home. Later, using the name Yi Xiao was afraid of being found by the family. That's right. Yi Xiao nodded, but using the name of a bad street like Yi Xiao wouldn't have such a hidden danger. Of course, you can't show your face. 
so he gave his twin brother his name. They are identical twins, and their genes are almost the same. So as long as they don't check their fingerprints, Yi Chiu's name is legal for him. Su Yen took the words and said, so he is both Yi Xiu and Yi Chiu. It's like this. Chen Guo suddenly realized, Yi Chiu, the great god, came to my internet cafe as an internet administrator. Isn't that ridiculous? It's not your worth. Death is still your boyfriend, Su Yen shrugged. What's wrong? You've been wronged. Not aggrieved, not aggrieved, he he. Virtue. Chen Guo rolled his eyes. New book release, Seeking Support, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Recalling the Past, Glory Never Dies You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Recalling the Past, Glory Never Dies Four people were chatting while eating and drinking. Talking about Su Yan's experiences over the years and Jia Shi's situation over the years, Yi Xiu doesn't drink alcohol, and Su Muching drinks less. Chen Gua didn't drink much either, but Su Yan drank too much. None of the three people stopped him. There are many things that don't need to be said much, they all know that Su Yan may not have had much success in recent years. Moreover, he, who had lost his comrade in arms and his only relative when he returned home, could only show his weak side in front of these three people. After drinking and eating, Yi Xiu took Su Yan, who was already unconscious, back to the internet cafe with Chen Guo. After all, Su Mucheng is a public figure and was beaten and sent back to Jiaxi by Yi Xiu. When we return to the internet cafe, it's almost 11 o'clock. Ha! Huh. This guy is really heavy. He threw Su Yan onto the bed in Chen Gua's room, and Yi Xiu took a breath. Bringing this guy back will exhaust both of them. Thank you for your hard work. But boss, Su Yan sleeps with you. Where do you sleep at night? Yi Xiu asked. I guess I'll have to take care of this guy all night, Chen Gua smiled, or else I'll vomit my whole house again. You're right. Yi Xiu also smiled. You're also tired, go rest. I'll find someone to cover for you for the night shift, Chen Gua said. This is just my first day at work, isn't it great? Can you do it then? It's okay, Yi Xiu shook his head. Then I'll go down and take over. Boss, if you have anything to do, please let me know. Hmm. There was nothing to say overnight. The next morning, under the influence of the biological clock, Su Yan opened his eyes early in the morning. Looking at the familiar furnishings in the room and the sleeping beauty next to her, Su Yan smiled and understood where he was. Rubbing his drunken head, pulling the blanket over Chen Gua's body, Su Yan turned over and prepared to get up. Calm down for a while, ancestor. Sensing the commotion around her, the sleeping beauty couldn't help but let out a lazy murmur, and Su Yan couldn't help but smile gently. Thank you for your hard work. You have a conscience, Chen Guo pouted without opening his eyes. What time is it? At 5.30, Su Yan looked at the alarm clock on the bedside table next to him and also noticed the photo frame next to the alarm clock. That was a group photo of the two at Westlake four years ago. The Chen fruit in the photo is young and beautiful, more lively and playful than it is now. Now it is more mature and steady. Um. No one bothered her. And four years ago, Su Yen also looked a bit immature. The 19.year.old boy smiled brightly, different from his current hair size. His hairstyle at that time was called elegant. It is worth mentioning that the protective film on someone's face in the photo was already broken and tattered. Su Yan couldn't help but imagine Chen Gua sitting on the bed, holding the photo frame like a little girl, bulging his cheeks and poking his face. From the degree of damage, it should be very frequent. Then I'll sleep a little longer, Chen Gua rolled over and said. Well, you rest well. Su Yan smiled, I'll go do morning exercises first. The toiletries are in the bathroom cabinet, use the red towel first, Chen Gua said. Don't call me before noon. Don't you have breakfast? Not eating. 
The habit of sleeping until noon has not changed, Su Yen smiled. Long-winded. Dress, get up, wash up, and go downstairs. Front desk, the night shift network administrator hasn't finished work yet. When he came down, he waved his hand as a sign of greeting. Well. Su Yen leaned behind him and asked. Copy. Yi Xiu turned up the sound of the earphones, took them off, and hung them around his neck. Frost Forest. Su Yen looked at Goblin on the screen and said. Hmm. Yi Xiu nodded. Jun Emo Xiao. Are you planning to become a scattered person? Su Yen knew about Jun Emo Zhao's account and also knew about Su Muqiu's situation. Yeah. What about upgrading the Qianji umbrella? The complete Qianji umbrella was only at level 50, right? I originally planned to study slowly, Yi Xiu said. Oh. Su Yen squinted his eyes. Now. Didn't you come back? Yi Xiu smiled. I don't know if it's fate, but men surnamed Su are all monster level in the research of silver martial arts. Yi Xiu has seen the equipment developed by Su Yen himself, and in terms of silver weapon production, even if it is not as good as Su Muqiu back then, it is definitely not inferior. You really look up to me. Aren't you afraid that I'll ruin this genius work for you? I believe you, Yi Xiu said. The umbrella in the hands of the scattered person on the screen changes back and forth, indiscriminately slaughtering the small monsters in the dungeon. The two people in front of the screen coincidentally curl their mouths. I went for morning exercise. What do I have for breakfast? Su Yen asked. Whatever. Yi Xiu didn't even lift his head, where's the boss? I'm going to sleep until noon. It seems that you have been causing a lot of trouble. What you said is not right. It's because your thoughts are not right. Hee <laughs> hee. Su Yen's morning exercise did not last too long, and Yi Xiu's dungeon had not been completed yet. He walked into the internet cafe with a large and small breakfast bag. At around level 20, it takes over an hour to single brush frost forest, even if the operator is Yi Xiu. I'm back. Yi Xiu had already opened the final boss, and the character's umbrella in the screen switched back and forth between spear, cannon, sword, and shield forms, each with smooth skills. Not finished yet. When did you cook like that? Su Yen put down his breakfast and asked. You dare to say that, Yi Xiu's mouth twitched. Su Yen smiled and sat down in front of another machine at the front desk, turned it on, and took out an account card from his pocket. The silver account card looked somewhat outdated, with a tall figure holding a battle sickle depicted on the front. On the back is the basic information. ID Kalsas. Occupation. Exorcist. The fifth generation account card indicates that it was registered during the third season of the League, which is the fifth zone. Looking at this familiar account card, Su Yan's thoughts slowly returned to September 6, four years ago. Honor Season 4, First Round, First Individual Game. That was his first game. Exorcist Carlos, the league's first game with him. A little longer has passed, during the summer break after the end of the third season, Honor updates in the Arena of God's Realm. That was the first professional player he faced, sitting next to him now. Fighting God, the autumn of a leaf. Yi Xiu finally finished his dungeon and turned his head to see Su Yen staring at the account card in his hand. What? Recalling the past. Yi Xiu asked. Ah, it's a bit. Su Yen smiled as the computer had already turned on. Open honor, insert card, and log in. Carlos, welcome back. May your glory never end. The system pops up a message. This is a welcome given by the system for every login role. Speaking of which, I haven't asked you what name Carlsas is and it doesn't have much to do with your name, Yeshio suddenly asked. Knocking it out casually, Su Yen said casually, his eyes slightly narrowed. It doesn't make much sense. It's just a dream after all. 
There is no league of legends or death song in this world. Newcomer's New Book, Seeking Support, End of this Chapter Chapter 4 Kalsas vs. Junmo Shao You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Kalsas vs. Junmo Shao ID Kalsas Level 65 70 Occupation Exorcist Weapons War Sickle Light of the Evil, Silver 1, Silver 2 Silver 12 Equipment Purple Dragon Set Black hair, red pupils, purple black armor, purple black sickle. Although it is a clergy profession, the style of dress is the same as that of a dark knight profession. The name of the god of death is also true in appearance. There are only 13 weapons alone, and no matter how many times I look at them, I feel like you're thinking. TSK TSK, it's so imaginative. Yi Xiu sighed. You don't know. 13 pieces are actually one piece, and those 12 pieces are all decorations. Although they can bring bonuses, they also increase the weight, limit my mobility, and prevent me from participating in team competitions. Su Yen shook his head and opened his backpack. A backpack with 12 compartments, each containing a silver combat sickle. But they are all smuggled goods. Weight 1 kilogram, level 50, attack power 10, Durability 1, no additional attributes. This is the attribute of those 12 silver weapons. But they all have one characteristic. They all have a combat skill. Battle Sickle Disaster Light, level 65, weight 4 kg, attack speed 13. Physical attack power 850, spell attack 700. Physical strength plus 15, Strength plus 15, Intelligence plus 15, Spirit plus 15. The spell effect is increased by 5%. Singing speed bonus of 10%. Increase reply speed by 5%. The reply effect bonus is 5%. Additional effect 1. Skill sharing. You can use the combat skills that come with silver weapons in your backpack. Additional effect 2. Evil Spirit Knight. When using the Divine Fire attack skill, it can change the flame to a full body state, but requires a complete set of Purple Dragon sets to be equipped. Silver Martial Arts Skill. Holy Fire. Backpack Skills. Great Healing, Holy Healing, Hypnosis, Angel Wings, Prayer of Hope, Light of the Ring, Holy Shield, Holy Light Strike, Angel Might, Challenge, Heroic Jumping, immovable like a mountain. As for the Purple Dragon set, it is just a relatively normal Exorcist exclusive set. Although that's the case, this pile of skills has also laid the foundation for your reputation as a god of death. You have never lost a single start in a personal game throughout the entire season, and this record is unparalleled in the league. However, so far, apart from you, no one has achieved it in the eight seasons. Yi Xiu said. I don't know when the holy fire will emerge from me, but when it hits it, it will be a three-second skill seal, almost a nemesis for melee professions. He suffered losses on this back then. When the sacred fire burns on him, it can make people dare not attack, but he also has a knight skill to provoke and force opponents to attack a three-second skill seal can basically declare the end of the PK. Faced with remote artillery, the combination of hypnosis and night charge quickly controls close range, and the same outcome follows. This almost unsolvable combination of punches, combined with his high level of operation and strong consciousness, as well as his precise timing, enabled Su Yen to have no disadvantage in the solo competition. In the fourth season, countless experts were defeated in front of him like this. Do you want me to help you find your original feelings? Yi Xiu asked. You're only at level 20, buddy. Su Yen glanced at him. I won't change my job again, I've already formed a level 20 individual, Yi Xiu said. Start fixing. Su Yen pondered for a moment and said, Okay, let me see the power of scattered people and thousand machine umbrellas. Soon, the two characters arrived at the arena. Let you choose the map. 
Su Yen said. That's so embarrassing. Yi Xiu smiled, randomly. A narrow canyon. As the name suggests, both sides of this map are cliffs and cliffs, with only a narrow road in the middle, which is called a line of sky. Holding a thousand machine umbrella, Jun Mo smiled with a colorful outfit. Carl Sass, holding a battle sickle and dressed in a purple-black suit. Two characters stand opposite each other. Is your hand. Okay. Yi Xiu asked. Su Yen grinned and said, I still abuse you. Come on, Yi Xiu raised his eyebrows. Place both hands on your keyboard and mouse simultaneously. Three, two, one battle begins. Da 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 two keyboards rang simultaneously, slender and slender fingers lightly jumping on each button. Bang. Bang bang. Jun Mo smiled and started his hand in the form of a gun, with three anti-tank guns flying in a pincer shape towards the Khalsas. You are still very clear about my weaknesses, Su Yen smiled, controlling the Khalsas to run forward and directly launching the knight skill charge towards Jun Mo Shao. Charge is a level 10 skill for knights, and lower level skills below level 20 are shared among the same lineage. Therefore, as an exorcist in a holy profession, as long as you click, you can use this skill. Suyen's Karsas has 12 1. kg silver weapons in his backpack. Although he has 12 more skills, he carries a huge weight, equivalent to carrying three more harmful lights, which makes his mobility completely insufficient. Even if most professional players have this condition, they will not consider this approach. The greatly reduced mobility makes it even more difficult for the Kalsis to avoid anti-tank guns that are normally difficult to avoid. However, after using the night charge, it was a different story. The acceleration brought by the charge perfectly avoided the attack route of the three anti-tank guns, and the three shells exploded behind the Kalsis. That's right, I remember every opponent's weakness in my heart, Yi Xiu said, and Jun Mo smiled as the next skill was fired, the green machine gun. A series of bullets were strafing towards Carlsa's, and Su Yan's mouse flickered as he controlled Carlsa's to create a curve to avoid the bullets from strafing. Arc charge is a micro-operation of night skill charge, which is not difficult to create such a trajectory, but the difficulty is to achieve the desired effect with the arc. This can be said to be easy for Su Yen four years ago, but for him who now has a four-dot-year blank period it's not difficult either. Although arc charging is not simple, it is not too difficult for experts. It seems that even with a four-dot-year gap, your operation is still on the level line. Yi Xiu smiled and with a flick of his mouse, the green machine gun chased after him and shot at him. That's right. Su Yan's gaze was solemn and the accelerator struck Carlsa's chest. Carlsa's speed took it to the next level, approaching Junmo Shao quickly, while also avoiding the bullet strafing perfectly. As Kale that's approached, Yi Xiu's mouth slightly curled up. Jun Mo smiled and opened his thousand machine umbrella, flipping and transforming his combat spear. A dragon tooth pierced out. Carlsa's raised his sickle in his hand, and the tip of the spear collided with the head of the sickle, causing Junmo's smile to turn into a wisp of green smoke and dissipate. Meanwhile, a sound of breaking news echoed through Su Yan's earphones. Turn around, the sickle sweeps across. The sword in Sanfa's hand was blocked and thrown away by the sickle grid. Shadow Clone ran behind me and took over the sword attack. That kid you Wonjo had played like this before, but his hand speed was much slower than yours, Su Yan smiled. A ghostly claw suddenly rose from the ground, accurately capturing Carlos. Ghost Swordsman Skill Ghost Claw When Su Yen realized it, three fireballs had already flown over. Elemental Mage Skill Flame Bomb The explosion rang out, and Junmo laughed and sang again. Three snowballs flew towards Kalsas. At the same time, a white light lit up from the sickle of Kaelvats and flew towards Junmo Shao. Yi Xiu. Oh no. Pastor skill hypnosis. Jun Mo Xiao fell into a deep sleep. 
Carl says, who had broken free from his ghostly claws, once again launched the cooled night charge, throwing his sickle, bending down, and quickly stamping his hands. Starry Fall Ascending Array New Book Release, Seeking Support, End of This Chapter Chapter 5 Methods to Retrieve Status You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Methods to Retrieve Status Starry Fall Ascending Array The battle sickle turned into a stream of light and smashed down on the head. At the same time, a golden magic formation opened under the feet, and a repulsive force rose from the ground, lifting Jun and Mo Shao away. The combination of the upward lift of the ascension array and the power of the falling stars doubles in power. Unfortunately, it's empty. At the moment when the sickle hit, the colorful Jun Mo Shao turned into a green skinned dwarf. Goblin, this is really a ninja stunt. When realizing it was a stunt double, Kalsaza's perspective had already changed to a floating perspective. TSK, my heart is really dirty. Su Yen frowned. I was already as careful as I could, using the hypnosis technique that was only activated before the cooldown of the shadow clone was over. However, I forgot that the substitute technique is also a low dot level skill that can be used by individual players. At the same time as floating in the air, there was already a stiffening effect on Carlos. Just now, it should have been the war technique Heavenly Strike floating in the air, followed by the war technique Dragon Fong, with a one second stiffening effect. Yi Xiu's hand speed is among the best in the league, and with Jun Mo Zhao's Thousand Machine Umbrella attack speed of 5, he has surpassed all the spears. The one second stiffness brought by Dragon Fong is enough for him to use several skills. After Dragon Fong, there is a combo of tactics, followed by another direct stab, which is the four combos of floating in the air. And with Yi Xiu's operation, once the four combos of floating in the air are completed, then the shadow step and floating in the air infinite combo will follow. The kind that can connect to death. If it were a strategy, Su Yen could still find an opportunity to break through the void, after all, there are still skills to be reckoned with. But the scattered person thing he puts 120 skills one by one without stopping until his mana is depleted. Even if holy fire can seal skills. But no matter what, holy fire is also a skill that requires chanting to activate. In the past, he may have seized the opportunity to chant, but now his hand speed simply cannot support this high dot end operation. So, in one minute, the battle ended. Carlsa suffered an unexpected defeat. You're too radical, hypnosis was released too early. If I were you, I would use a immobilization talisman to trick the stunt double out first, Yi Xiu shook his head and said. Ah, I've noticed it too. Su Yen nodded and sighed, how much do you think I can be at the same level as before now? Less than half. Yi Xiu spoke bluntly in honor, your hand speed is already comparable to that of Yu Wenzhou. Is that right? Su Yen let out a bitter smile. After all, it was a four-dot-year hiatus, and his familiarity with honor was far less than it was back then. His hand speed also declined significantly due to the negative impact of neglect and training in recent years. Technology, hand speed, experience, and consciousness are far inferior to those of the past, and the only thing that has not declined but has increased is reaction ability. If we add in the updates and replacements of honor, as well as the emergence of talented new players in the current league, if you were to play in the league with your current strength, you might not be able to achieve three points back then. Yi Xiu took out his cigarette and said, Do you want it? Hmm. Su Yen nodded and took it over, which means my current overall level is probably the lowest level among frontline players. Almost. Yi Xiu took out a lighter to help him light it, while also lighting himself. However, it's not difficult to recover, do you know that? Su Yen nodded. Experience can be retrieved by further understanding the present glory, and consciousness is no exception. If technology relies on further training, it should also be able to recover. The key is still hand speed. 
This requires a long period of training to possibly recover, but it's not a big problem, and it can even be said to be the easiest one for him to recover. Su Yan's hand speed, which was the normal peak four years ago, was around 450. However, due to the poor maneuverability of the Kansas, the requirements for hand speed during operation are actually not high. During the entire season, Su Yan's hand speed did not exceed 300. So there is no need to return to the previous peak. His career can be compared to that of Yu Wanjo. Yu Wanjo has absolutely no room for a decrease in hand speed, while his playing style has an extremely low requirement for opponent speed. And his current decline in hand speed is not due to his age. Although he is considered a veteran in the league at the age of 24, he is still at the peak of his career. Moreover, Su Yan's family is aware of his own affairs, and his opponent's maintenance in recent years is still reasonable. The main reason is that he is not proficient in keyboards due to the blank period. It's a bit difficult to recover to 400, but 300 is still more than enough. Old Yi, in terms of glory, after all, you are at the textbook level. How do you think I should restore it? Su Yen asked. No although I am a textbook, your question seems to be beyond the outline, right? Yi Xiu couldn't help but laugh and cry. Yes, you probably haven't encountered someone like me with a blank period before, Su Yen also shook his head and chuckled. If you ask me, what you need now is to start over like a newcomer, gradually regain your skills and consciousness, and through retraining, regain your original experience. It's hard to say if you can recreate the style of the God of Death back then, but it should still be possible to restore it. Yi Xiu said. Then let's practice again, Su Yen nodded, starting from scratch. Coincidentally, the server in the 10th district has just opened, and there's still time to register an account. Yi Xiu said, can I get you an account card? You'll be able to help me create a copy together when the time comes. Um, I said you're not just looking for a tool man to help, are you? Look at what you're saying, do I look like that person? Yi Xiu said he wasn't that bad. You don't look like it, you are. Su Yen was speechless. However, what Yi Xiu said also makes sense. Starting from scratch and practicing again is the best way to regain the original experience. You better think about what profession to practice with the new account. Yi Xiu found a blank 10 zone account card from the front desk and threw it to him. You are different from a normal exorcist. If you practice exorcists, it will not be conducive to your recovery. After all, you can't create a new set of silver, so it's best to have a related and suitable profession that suits your style. For example, Su Yen looked at him. He is right. Su Yen's Karsas is not so much an exorcist, but more like a punishing flow knight. Compared to the exorcist's orthodox skills, his gameplay relies more on low-dot-level shared and control skills, which bring acceleration and strong control effects. For Su Yen, most of the exorcist's skills are used to output and consume opponent's health rather than true combat. The art style of warfare is similar to exorcism, or using battle axes, knight spears to punish the flowing knights. Yi Xiu said, Combat-type guardian angels or explosive herders can also be used. Su Yan's playing style, to put it bluntly, is a completely unconventional and evil way of playing in the current glory. The professions proposed by Yi Xiu, apart from their similar tactics and exorcist art style, are mostly used by knights as MT professions. The guardian angel, a profession that not only focuses on healing but also on interception and defense skills, is more used to assist teammates, making it a moderate choice between priests and MT. A pastor, let alone a pure wet nurse. Retribution knights, output type rampage, and combat type guardian angels were not uncommon in the early glory zone, and Yi Xiu had also studied them. But these schools have too high demands on operators and have too many flaws compared to so. called normal usage. If you really want to use these professions for output, it's better to practice a real output or conquer a profession. Over time, these schools of thought were also eliminated, and almost no one used them. 
Apart from the former honor veterans, very few people even heard of these schools. But if it's Su Yen, perhaps these schools of thought are more suitable for him than normal professions. Moreover, he just needs to regain his original state, and he doesn't have to use these professions in the future, so practicing them won't hurt much. However, Yi Xiu is worried about another matter. Newcomer's New Book, Seeking Support, End of This Chapter Chapter 6 Lack of Virtue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Lack of Virtue Soon, Su Yen selected his new profession from several options. Knights A thick plate armor not only provides protection against high health, but also greatly limits the mobility of the knight profession. In this regard, the knight has the same artistic style as his exorcist, but not as severe as the exorcist, limited to him. And the Punish Knight happens to be a genre of gameplay that uses the low dot level shared skills of exorcists, which is similar to his original art style. So it is the most suitable profession for him. Unconsciously, it was already 7 o'clock. The morning network administrator came over to hand over the work, and Yi Xiu withdrew from the game and went upstairs to rest. As he walked around the corner of the stairs, Yi Xiu's footsteps stopped for a moment and he turned his head to glance at Su Yen who was still at the front desk. By this time, Su Yen had already registered his account and was crowding Zongzi in the novice village. After taking a glance, Yi Xiu continued upstairs, but his eyes became unusually serious. Su Yan's state is not right, very wrong. Although still as gentle as before, when Chen Guo scolded him, he would still be as playful and funny as when he was trained at a meeting four years ago. But Yi Xiu always felt that something was a bit unnatural. After the PK just now, Yi Xiu finally discovered the problem. This guy has a big problem with his mental state. He would never have fought so aggressively before. Not to mention it's just an insignificant one dot on point one match, even if I knew it was only a year ago and sat on the professional field, I wouldn't be so radical. Although still gentle on the surface, my heart has become impulsive. Honor PK is no longer about enjoying glory, but about reluctantly completing tasks. Yi Xiu also vaguely guessed where the problem lay. Returning to his previous state, the points he mentioned earlier are indeed useful, but what is truly crucial is his psychological issues. He has a lot of pressure in his heart. Yi Xiu had also experienced the same pain, but the difference was that Su Yen suffered consecutive psychological setbacks in just a few years. He gave up his dream of joining the military, lost his comrades, lost a finger, and finally came back alive in the midst of gunfire and bullets. He also lost his only family member. Now, it is not glory that supports him, but Chen Guo who has been waiting for him. Last night, Yi Xiu Yuan thought he had already persevered in his performance, but now he realizes that this kid is simply persevering, persisting to portray Su Yen as he did four years ago. Just like how he lost Su Muqiu back then, for the sake of the Jiaxia they built together, and for Mucheng, why didn't he just hold on to it? Dreaming back at midnight, which time hasn't tears soaked the pillow? Because of Mu Cheng and his former teammates, he walked out, but Su Yen didn't seem to be able to walk out so easily. It's just that we can't talk to Su Yen about this, we need to find our family members. Pushing open the door of the second floor suite, Yi Xiu saw Chen Guo sitting on the sofa with his knees crossed, talking to someone on the phone, his voice choking up. Well, okay, I got it, Fubo. That's it for now. Okay, hang up. Hanging up the phone, Chen Guo turned his head to look at Yi Xiu and said, Are you off work? Well, Boss, aren't you sleeping? Yi Xiu closed the door and asked. Where can I sleep? Chen Guohong blushed and forced a smile, Ian. It seems you have also noticed, Yi Xiu said. I've been tinkering all night. If I didn't know, wouldn't I be a fool? Chen Guo wiped the corners of his eyes and sighed, actually, when he just returned, I noticed something was wrong. I just didn't want to expose him. I just called his unit and his family to inquire about the situation. What do you say? Yi Xiu asked. PTSD, 
said Chen Guo, post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD, full name post-traumatic stress disorder, Chinese name post-traumatic stress disorder. Refers to the delayed and persistent mental disorder caused by an individual's experience, witnessing, or encountering one or more actual deaths involving themselves or others, or being threatened by death, or serious trauma that threatens physical integrity. Many soldiers who have returned from the battlefield, or police officers who have carried out tasks such as undercover or espionage, often suffer from such mental illnesses, which can be mild or severe. Suyen has all met, and there is more than one case, especially in a short period of time. This god is really lacking in virtue. Why did Su Yen encounter any trouble? Even Yi Xiu, who has always been well behaved, couldn't help but curse at him at this moment. Fortunately, there was someone waiting for him. To be honest, if Su Yen had seen Qin Gua's new boyfriend in Xingxin yesterday, she could have committed suicide on the spot. There seems to be a case like this on the American side. Yeah, I really lack virtue, Chen Guo tugged at the corner of his mouth. Fortunately, he is still quite positive now. Even if he performs it, over time and forms habits, he may become better, Yi Xiao sighed. The doctor said the same, Chen Guo said. Has he seen a psychologist? Yi Xiao asked. His family said he recently learned about his psychological problems and went to see a psychologist, Chen Guo said. There is also a former butler in Su Yan's family. Although he no longer has this job with the old man's departure, he has watched Su Yan grow up since childhood, so he has always been very concerned about him. Chen Guo just spoke to him. Has the doctor provided any treatment plan yet? Chen Guo shook his head and said, The trouble is here. Su Yen, who has also studied psychology himself, is half a psychologist. If he uses any plan recklessly, it will actually stimulate him. The doctor's statement is to encourage him to communicate more with close people and slowly recover like a frog boiled in warm water. Fortunately, he also seems to be aware that he knows how to release his emotions in a timely manner, without constantly suppressing them, which can be considered a healthy development. That's okay. Yi Xiao nodded. Now it can only be like this, Chen Guo sighed. Or. It could further divert his attention, maybe it could make him better faster, Yi Xiao pondered. How do you say it? Chen Guo asked. On the one hand, he is still interested in regaining his previous skills, Yi Xiao told Chen Guo about what happened this morning. I asked him to practice a new profession and start over, which can divert his attention and make him stop thinking about those annoying things. However, this can only be considered a small part, and on the other hand, it depends on you, boss. You continue, Chen Guo nodded and gestured for him to continue. Companion, it goes without saying much about your relationship. The key is to instill a sense of responsibility in him, Yi Xiao said. Make him feel like you need his care. Just pretend to be silly, Okay. Chen Guo understood. It's similar, but different. Yi Xiao shook his head and summarized his past rehabilitation experience. You can't be too deliberate, just act lazily. Well, you don't need to show any signs of it in this regard. Yi Xiao remembered the chaos in someone's room this is already lazy enough, in short, try to be the same as before. You are already careless in details, as long as you make him feel that you cannot take care of yourself well and let him worry more about you. Chen Guo frowned, somewhat confused. So, I'll give you Mu Cheng's personal QQ, and you can ask her specifically how to handle it, Yi Xiao thought for a moment and said. Mu Cheng. She has experience. And there are experiences of both healing and being cured. Back in the day, it was said that he took care of Mu Cheng, but in fact, they both took care of each other. People who have walked out of their psychological shadows have a strong psychological state. Looking back on those sad things, Yi Xiao is not worried about them. Now let's take care of some restless reaper first. By the way, remember to wash your face. Your appearance is more stimulating to his emotions, Yi Xiao said. Newcomers and new books, seeking support. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Female Knight, Chen Gui You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Female Knight, Chen Gui After chatting for a while, Yi Xiu went to bed and left Chen Gui huddled on the sofa with his phone, chatting with Su Muchen, who had just added a friend. Unconsciously, time passed by bit by bit. Su Yan's newly opened account has reached level 10 and has taken a look at the time. It's noon now. Yeah, it's noon, said Xiao Chu, the network administrator guarding the front desk next to him. Are we still relying solely on ordering takeout for our meals at the internet cafe as before? Su Yan asked as he pulled out his SIM card and went offline. Yeah. Xiao Chu nodded, I'll handle it myself during break time, and the boss orders takeout during work time. This girl is also an old man from an internet cafe, and she is also an old acquaintance with Su Yen. All right. Su Yen took out his mobile phone and threw it to Xiao Chu. The unlock password is the last six digits of my ID card, and so is the payment password. WeChat Alipay is rich, so you can order takeout for everyone. Okay, what do you eat, Brother Yen? asked Xiao Chu. Anyway, I don't have any dietary restrictions, Su Yen stood up and said, I'll go wake up my sleeping beauty. Then you have to be careful, your sleeping beauty can get angry when she wakes up, Xiao Chu smiled. Su Yen waved his hand and walked towards the stairs. Jiaxia needs to train, so Su Muching naturally cannot keep chatting with Chen Guo. Now Chen Guo is chatting with another person. Click the sound of opening the door alarm Chen Guo. Hmm. Did you get up, Guo Guo? Su Yan opened the door and saw the figure huddled on the sofa. Well, wait a moment. Chen Guo turned his head to look at him and pressed the voice button. Xiao Tang, I won't talk to you for now. I'll pick you up when you arrive. In the morning, the redness at the corners of his eyes had already dissipated, and Su Yan did not notice anything unusual. Who is it? Su Yen approached and asked. Xiao Tang, Chen Guo said, Oh no, I don't know you. My best friend, I met last year. Oh, Su Yen nodded. The person will arrive in the afternoon. I'll introduce you to them later, beautiful woman. I only recognize one beautiful woman, Su Yen flicked on her forehead. Go, what are you talking about? Chen Guo Bai glanced at him, and you, how is honor? My hand speed has dropped to the level of Yu Wanzhou, and other aspects are not as good as before. Su Yen spread out his hand, Old Ye's suggestion is for me to practice a new account and fully recover from scratch, reaching level 10 in the morning. What profession? Or an exorcist? Chen Gua asked. Punish the night, Su Yen said, this professional art style is quite similar to my gameplay. Well, it's really similar. As an old player, Chen Guo also knows these unpopular genres. Hey, I happen to have a 10 zone account too. Can you take me with you? According to Yi Xiu's words, she couldn't imagine what she needed to take care of as an adult. However, when she chatted with Su Muching later, Chen Guo learned that it was Yi Xiu who brought Su Muching to become a professional player, and suddenly had an idea. Isn't there old Yi? That guy is a honor textbook and he happens to teach you some techniques. Su Yen said, and he has experience guiding the gunner. Why are you looking for him with me? And I don't work professionally, Chen Guo laughed angrily. Are you my mother's boyfriend, okay? What does it mean to push me to someone else? But. Su Yen hesitated to speak. He is very clear about his girlfriend's skills, and the tasks in the divine realm were all done with his help from the beginning, what's wrong? You despise me. Chen Guo said with a crossover and a puff of air. No. Su Yen couldn't help but laugh and cry. Okay, I'll take you with me later. But now you should go wash up first. I'll have Xiao Chu order takeout. Speaking, he pushed Chen Guo into the restroom. Bring it with you, it's not that you haven't brought it before. 
Back then, it was thanks to her that she bought several gun series trumpets to play dungeons with her. However, Chen Gu's skills did not improve much. On the contrary, Su Yen himself even trained the divine gun and cannon to professional level, and the gunner was second only to Su Ma Chen. There was no second gunner in the alliance at that time. Chen Gua has a carefree personality and is a natural beauty, so unlike a normal woman who doesn't dress up for half an hour and doesn't see anyone, she appears in about 10 minutes. After lunch, Chen Gua had Xiao Chu activate the machine and quickly pulled Su Yen to Zone C. Chen Gua Flight 47 and Su Yen Flight 48. Coincidentally, my account has also reached level 10. Let's go play dungeons. Chen Gua said. What number are you in the novice village? Su Yen asked. Characters before level 20 are all in the beginner's village, and if there is not one beginner's village, they cannot form a team. 72 Chen Gua said. So coincidental, Su Yen said, at coordinates 253178, look for me at entrance 2 of Spider Cave. Mmm. Chen Gua nodded and started running with her 10th district trumpet. But what about chasing the mist? Why did you practice a trumpet again? Su Yen asked. I registered to play when the 10th district opened the server the day before yesterday, Chen Gua said. This is also called Zuyangxia. What is your new account name? Tanados, said Su Yen. What's a ridiculous name? Chen Guo wondered, your previous Carlos was the same. Why did they all come up with strange names? They were typed randomly again. The previous one was, but this one is really not. Su Yen explained to Chen Guoka, Tanados is the god of death in ancient Greek mythology, the son of the night goddess Nikus, and the brother of the sleeping god Zayupinos. Death, are you in a fight with this scumbag? Chen Guo twitched at the corner of his mouth, I'm here. I saw you, why is it chasing the mist again? Su Yen asked. I'm too lazy to change my name. She already has five chasing mists. While chatting, Chen Guo had already seen Su Yan's character. I'll go. Why did you get a personal monster account? In the screen of Chen Guo, from a hazy perspective, there stands a purple-haired female knight with a spear and a round shield, the goddess of war Athena. The key is that the face is exactly the same as Chen Guo in front of the screen. Hmm how do you say it? Su Yen scratched his chin. When I see the knight, I think of a certain female knight back then. It's a bit nostalgic when I say it. Speaking, the goods looked at Chen Guo and raised an eyebrow. Shameless. Chen Guo glared at him shyly and angrily. The female knight is talking about her, her specific personal experience. If it weren't for this guy having a heart attack, he would have beaten him up. Why do you make your face look so similar when you talk about it? Chen Gua asked. There are photos, Su Yen said, sending Chen Gua the team application. Just scan it directly. You're amazing. Chen Gua accepted the team application, do you want to form two more teams? No need, my goal is to bring back my previous state and have a counterproductive effect with more people, said Su Yen, who had already clicked on the Enter button. Spider Cave is the second instance of Honor Novice Village, suitable for levels 10.15, and has a higher level of difficulty compared to the lowest level 5.10 of Green Forest Advanced. If it were two Qingguo levels, coming in would definitely be a death. But if it were Su Yen, even if his current strength is not as strong as before and he has brought a drag on the oil bottle, it would still be easy. Two characters slowly move forward in the dimly lit spider cave, both of whom are experienced hands. While controlling the characters to move forward, they do not affect the conversation at all. However, in the cave where there are occasional piles of corpses on the ground, they appear relaxed and freehand. One skilled person is bold, and the other is truly bold. Ah! Chen Gua suddenly shouted. What's wrong? Su Yen asked in confusion. I forgot to buy an antidote. Chen Gua said. 
there are two types of monsters in Spider Cave. One is a ranged web spider that can spit out a web to bind players, and the other is a melee venomous spider that has a chance of being poisoned and continuously losing health if bitten. When did you and I get hit by a small monster? Su Yen was speechless. That's right, too. But when it comes to it, I forgot to read the guide, Su Yen said. At this moment, a dark shadow in the crevice on the right suddenly rushed towards Tanatos, who was walking ahead. Damn it. You're a spider, not a face hugger. While roast, Su Yen manipulates the character to step back and kick out. Isn't this the high flying foot skill of a martial artist? Chen Guo was puzzled. High flying feet, a level 1 skill of a martial artist, belong to the floating technique. Anyway, I haven't changed jobs yet, so there's no need for it. Su Yen didn't care at all. Before changing jobs, everyone was just scattered, and it's not just him, Jun Mo Shao, who knows how to use all professional skills. The knight's spear poked the ground, raised his hand, and threw a grenade. This time it's a level 10 skill grenade from the ammunition expert. Then, Tanatos condensed a ball of light in his hand and threw it out. Magic bullet, level 5 skill of the magic path. Three skills were released one after another, but the little spider failed to build any skills and harbored resentment towards the northwest. Newcomers and new books, seeking support. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Su Yan's Unique Skills You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Su Yan's Unique Skills, Tisk, It's a Bit Wasteful. If we gather a few together, the grenade will catch the magic bullet and kill them all, Su Yan pondered. The main issue is that the mobility of this product is too poor, and I have become accustomed to standing and masturbating. After entering the league, I have been playing singles and rarely play single to many. But this statement is really infuriating. Don't be fooled by this little monster. When Chen Guo played for the first time, a team of four people fought together and ended up with a lottery. Chen Guo decided not to talk to this guy for now. Quickly, another little monster jumped out, and Su Yen controlled Tanatos to lift his shield. With a knight skill, he repelled the little spider and flew it away. Then, with a throw of the knight spear in his hand, a star drop of the exorcist skill had already fallen. At the same time, the pattern of the rising sky formation on the ground had already opened. Tanatos jumped up, smashed his shield, and fired the knight's level 10 skill, the phoenix hammer. When Chen Guo reacted, he only saw purple hair flying in the air, and this little spider had already followed his brother's footsteps. Let's go, said Su Yen as the female knight landed. It was really easy to follow Su Yen, and even with a small monster, Chen Guo didn't have a chance to shoot, I remember there was a bit of trouble ahead, there were a lot of spiders, and after killing them, there was boss one right next, Chen Guo said. Hmm. Su Yen nodded, and the female knight had already been killed. There are indeed quite a few small monsters, seven in total, four with poison and three with spitting webs. The hatred is still chained. When Chen Guo entered, he saw Su Yan's female knight launch the ascending sky formation and shoot all four melee poisonous spiders away. The knight's spear flew into the air, throwing all four spiders away. Two hit the stone walls on both sides, while the other two hit two companions who were spitting webs, deviating from the trajectory of the spider web. The third remote spider web had not yet been spit out, and the two that had been hit on the stone wall before were bounced back, colliding and falling together. At this moment, the spider web was spit out, wrapping the two poisonous spiders tightly together. Su Yan's female knight kicked the two poisonous spiders with a high flying foot. This operation does not require high speed and skill from the opponent, but even if Yi Xiu comes, he is not as easy to write as Su Yen. Because this thing requires calculation of angles and rich standing experience. Anti-tank gun, Su Yen said calmly. Okay. Chen Guo had also seen Su Yan's brilliant operation, and at this moment, he didn't freeze like a novice. Before Su Yen spoke, the handgun of chasing Yenxia had already been lifted. 
After all, it was also a collaboration, and Chen Guo knew exactly when Su Yan would demand what skills. Moreover, Su Yan's strange gathering was too good. Seven spiders were grouped in pairs, and the last group consisted of three. They were all bumped into a mess, and even Chen Guo's eyes felt that not doing it would make him look down on him. Amidst the roar, three anti-tank guns accurately bombarded the three groups of spiders, and Su Yen was not idle either. One group lost a grenade, another group lost a magic bullet, and the last group with the most three elemental mages threw out their fiery explosive shells. After finishing the task, a big spider, which was more than ten times larger than the seven little spiders, ran out of the hole with a loud cry. After finishing the fight, the descendants vented their anger towards the father, but they didn't know why the spider was howling. Su Yen had been playing honor for the first time for six years and still couldn't figure it out. Anyway, just do it. Let's hide first. As soon as the big spider came out, a thick purple poison sprayed out. This number one boss is the same as their descendants. The poison they produce is completely random, but the difference is that this thing can spray poison remotely, and it also has a range of damage. Su Yen controlled the female knight to turn and run, and Chen Guo naturally followed. Quickly, the two of them withdrew outside the range of the toxic mist spreading. Guo Guo, take a shot at him first. All right. Chen Guo responded and turned around to lift the muzzle. The cooled anti-tank gun slammed out, followed by another grenade. Su Yen controlled his female knight and threw a magic bullet, bringing his hand to fill a blue bottle for himself. There's no way, level 10 mana is just that. His series of releases are not enough mana to use. Keep going. If you don't run after using your skills, that's a fool. Just as they ran out of ten positions, the big spider was already roaring and chasing after them. Su Yen controlled the female knight to shake her hand and another grenade stopped the big spider's footsteps. Soon, the spread of the toxic mist came to an end. Green machine gun sweep it, Su Yen said as the female knight turned around and charged over with a shield. Arriving in front of the big spider, she withdrew her spear and shield turned around to avoid the puncture of the spider's leg, and the female knight hugged the spider's leg with her backhand. Judo skill, back throw. The big spider screamed in agony and was knocked to the ground. The spear and shield, which had been put into the backpack, returned to their hands once again, and then the spear was thrown out again. On the ground, a golden magic formation lit up. Starry fall, ascension formation. The ascending array floated into the sky, and the stars fell down again and again. At the same time, the attack of Zhu Yan Xia also arrived, and a series of bullets turned into a torrent of metal and vented on the head of the big spider. Although playing as a punishment knight, Su Yan is still proficient in the skills of an exorcist, the female knight jumped up, withdrew her shield, caught the spear, held her hands in reverse, and thrust down fiercely. The painful spider screamed and rolled over, and the female knight was thrown out. Under Su Yan's control, she fell to the ground, and then another knight charged forward. The big spider turned back and spewed out a mouthful of poisonous gas. However, under Su Yan's manipulation, the female knight twisted her delicate body and curved into a charge, narrowly avoiding the mist. A shield hit the big spider's body. Don't stop attacking it doesn't need to be too fast, just hit it right. While operating, Su Yen didn't forget to give orders to his girlfriend next to him. Next is the performance time. Su Yen operated the female knight to shuttle back and forth under the eight spider legs, occasionally launching an attack. Although the mobility of the knight was poor, and Su Yen was more accustomed to standing and masturbating due to the limitations of the large size, he was more proficient in micro-operations. After all, standing and masturbating cannot really be done, and one must also avoid enemy skills. Therefore, Su Yen also has a unique technique similar to the broom dance of a sorcerer. The broom dance is a type of operation in the dark body technique of the school of sorcerers, which connects ordinary attacks together to create continuous attacks, making it easy to master. 
and Su Yan's unique technique was called the Shadow Step with the title of his Death God. You can tell by the name, this is a mobile technique. Utilizing the universal skills of sprinting, rolling, jumping, and charging with the skills of Knights of the Holy Order series, he can repel these displacement skills, even the skill like Angel Wings, which allows the character to float in the air. Coupled with his extremely strong reaction speed, he can dodge every attack from opponents with extremely small amplitude and just the right amount. The fastest time at the beginning was facing the magician's gameplay of Wang Jieshi, the captain of the Micro Grass Squad. This guy had to use a subtle range, within three body positions in each direction in five directions, front, back, left, and right, to make Wang Bulyixing's 40 broom dance combos miss 30.7 times, and even flashed remnants on the screen. This is also the only example of a single spell operation that vividly cracked a magician's gameplay, hence the name Shadow Step. This technique does not require high operational skills and hand speed, and frontline players with an effective hand speed of over 300 can keep up. However, this move is designed to avoid bullet attacks, and the perspective will also switch back and forth with the character's evasion. Therefore, it requires extremely high vision and reflexive skills, and Su Yen happens to be best at these two points. In recent years, he has overcome the life and death challenges of gunfire and bullets, these two advantages are not only not worn away by time, but also surpass the past. Although the hand speed is currently not strong enough, the opponent is not Wang Jieshi, just the first boss of a level 10 dungeon. In addition, the knight's mobility is even stronger than the heavy carrying Khalsa's, so Su Yen used his unique skills without reservation at this time. Quickly, under the continuous attacks of the two, the first boss let out an unwilling roar and shattered into pieces of equipment, materials, and money. Newcomers and new books, seeking support. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Tang Ro You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Tang Ro, Why Did You Open a Small Boss Too Big? Chen Gua asked in confusion. She still knows Su Yan's shadow step, but why doesn't a little boss need to use this move? And it doesn't seem to be any worse than four years ago. A moment of itching, Su Yan smiled. Then you can't see a decline in your level compared to before, Chen Gua said. Of course, I can't see this kind of small dungeon anymore. For dungeons at this level, not only me, but also the presidents of major guilds and the youth training camp students of each team, it's not impossible to do it alone. Moreover, the speed is not slower than I am now. If I were to switch to higher dot level frontline and all star players, even old ye, to do it, the progress wouldn't be much faster because the upper limit of this dungeon is so high. Su Yen said, but the technical level doesn't need me to say, do you understand? This is not a level of skill at all. I understand. Chen Guo understood clearly, just like the top student taking the 99 exam, his level can only rely on 99, and the top student taking the 100 exam is because there is only 101 truth on the paper, right? Almost. Su Yen nodded, as for the shadow step, it's because although my hand speed has slowed down, my reaction speed is still good, and the shadow step itself doesn't have high requirements for hand speed. In addition, Spider Cave is already low dot level and doesn't require high technical skills, so it's easy to use. However, if I replace my opponent with someone like Lao Yi or Wang Jieshi and Huang Xiaotian, my eyesight can keep up, but my hands cannot. Oh. As the two spoke, they put away the materials and equipment that had exploded from the boss and continued to move forward. Due to having only two people, even with Su Yan's advanced skills, the time of this dungeon is much slower than that of the five-player team. After two rounds of dungeons, it has been over two hours. When the two of them entered the dungeon for the third time and immediately pushed down the final boss Spider King, Yi Xiu walked over with a cigarette in his mouth. Are you up? Chen Guo was relatively relaxed and turned to look at him. Hmm. Yi Xiu waved his hand and said hello. The front desk has left you a portion of rice to cover, and you can heat it up in the microwave yourself. 
If you don't know how to do it, find Xiao. Su Yen took a moment to look at him. Before he could finish speaking, Chen Gu's phone rang. Go pick it up, Lao Yi, come and give me a hand first, Su Yen immediately changed his tone. Oh. Yi Xiu smiled bitterly and took Chen Gu's mouse and keyboard, controlling Zhu Yangxia to raise her hand and make a shot. Hello. Xiao Tang, here you are. All right, I'll go pick you up right away. In less than half a minute, the two skilled players have quickly solved the final boss. This doesn't even need me, okay? Yi Xiu said in silence. When he came on the field, the boss's blood rushed past, so he helped fire two shots and then pushed it all away, anyway, it hasn't been long, Su Yen withdrew his hand and said. Ai In, come and accompany me to pick someone up, Chen Gua said as he walked over. Okay, Su Yen stood up and pulled out his card. Let's go. As they walked out side by side, Yi Xiu tilted his head. Who's here? Su Yen followed Chen Guo out just as a taxi happened to be driving away from the roadside. A short-haired girl with a beautiful appearance was dragging a large white suitcase towards her. When they came out, the girl stopped and waved at them, mainly at Chen Guo. Hi, Guo Guo. As soon as Chen Guo saw this girl, he immediately left his boyfriend and ran over to hug her. Xiao Tang, you're back now. I miss you so much. I'm really not used to it when you're not here for most of the month. Tang Ro smiled gently and said, didn't I come back now? TSK TSK, I haven't seen you so enthusiastic since I came back, Su Yen walked up with a jealous expression. I haven't been used to it for most of the month, and I haven't seen anyone who hasn't been used to it even after four years of walking. Go. Don't beat me up. Chen Guo gave him a bad look and said, as soon as you leave, you'll just disappear. What else can I do if I'm not used to it? As he spoke, Chen Guo calmly changed the topic and said, let me introduce my best friend Tang Ro. Just call her Xiao Tang, my boyfriend Su Yen. Hello, Tang Ro extended her hand. Hello, I'm sorry to trouble you, Guo Guo, when I'm not here. Su Yen welcomed me. The two shook hands, and Tang Ro glanced at Su Yan's hand. Although it was long and slender, there were still calluses on the palms, especially on the tiger's mouth and thumb, which were clearly military hands. Tang Ro was very measured, and after taking a glance, her gaze politely turned to his eyes. No, it's better for Guo Guo to take care of me more, Tang Ro smiled. After politely shaking hands, the two of them withdrew, but Su Yan's face remained unchanged, but he was somewhat surprised in his heart. This girl has an extraordinary background. Their appearance and figure are all first dot class, and their appearance, appearance, and clothing do not feel uncomfortable at all. A beautiful woman with no blind spots from any angle. And when we shook hands just now. Although the entire hand is slender and weak without bones, there are obvious signs of calluses on the fingertips. Although some professional players may also have this feature, they do not use their right hand to hold a mouse. If their right hand has this feature, it is either a writer, typist, stenographer, or someone who plays music, such as piano or organ. From this girl's temperament, Su Yen leans towards the latter. How could such a wealthy lady become a network administrator? Isn't it like running away from home like that old ye guy? No, the person just came over from home. A few people returned to the internet cafe, chatting and laughing. Su Yen took Tang Ro's luggage and delivered it upstairs. When he came down again, he saw Tang Ro sitting in the same position as Chen Guo, who was standing behind. The screen clearly showed the glory arena, and Tang Ro was operating Chen Guo's chasing the mist. Oh, Tang Ro helped the boss Lady PK as soon as she came back. The onlookers were obviously old acquaintances. That's right, Xiao Tang is my cheat, Chen Guo said with a fork in his waist. Hey! Didn't Yen De come back? Why didn't the boss ask him to help you fight, someone asked. He doesn't play as a gunner, Chen Guo said, 
and asking him to fight that isn't bullying people. Yes, and I prefer female knights, Su Yen leaned over and chuckled. Chen Gui's face turned red with a swish, and he stepped forward and said, I'm going to kill you. Su Yen smiled and didn't hide, letting her kick. The battle began, and Tang Rou's gaze fixed. Her slender fingers quickly jumped on the keyboard. The hand speed is good, Su Yen muttered to himself. This hand speed is no less than his current, the minimum threshold for professional players. You're quite popular, I thought you were playing in the arena, Yi Xiu said as he leaned in. I'm already a relic of the old era, okay. Su Yen smiled. Who is she? Yi Xiu asked. Guo Gua's best friend, Su Yen said. Oh. In less than three minutes, Tang Ro had easily defeated her opponent. Undoubtedly, it's Xiao Tang. Guo Gua, didn't you say you were a master? Tang Ro put down her earphones and asked in confusion. This person is a master, they have an 85% win rate in PK. Chen Guo felt a bit depressed, let's beat him up again, Xiao Tang. Stop fighting, right? Hey, Chen Guo became even more depressed. If I had your skills, I would have become a professional player early on. Why don't you play honor? It feels like. It's too simple. Yi Xiu and Su Yen, who were watching, squinted their eyes in unison. That's right, you're not interested in being so weak. If you could find something stronger. Speaking, Chen Guo suddenly froze. Stronger. She has it. And there are still two of them. Newcomer's new book, Seeking Support, End of this Chapter. Chapter 10 At this time, Tang Ro had not yet realized the seriousness of the matter you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 At this time, Tang Ro had not yet realized the seriousness of the matter Chen Guo is an action-oriented person who takes immediate action when he thinks of it. Xiao Tang, do you believe that someone defeated the battle method just now in only 40 seconds? Who? Tang Ro's gaze fixed and she immediately remembered the identity of Chen Guo's boyfriend. Is Su Yen? No, it's not. Chen Guo shook his head and turned to see the two people watching the play side by side. He ran over, hugging Su Yen with one hand and pushing Yi Xiu with the other. It's him. Ah. Yi Xiu didn't even realize what was going on when Chen Guo pressed him onto the chair. Come on, come on, let's have a fight. Su Yen are you serious, Guo Guo? I can't even beat this product now. However, just hit it, it will just make this girl's eyes open. Glory, is it too simple? He he, hey hey hey. Come on, come on. Someone is going to compete with Tang Ro girl. Who is it? Come and take a look. A group of onlookers quickly gathered around, obviously knowing Tang Ro's level. No need, boss. Yi Xiu couldn't help but laugh and cry. If it's okay, just give it a beating, Chen Guo smiled. That doesn't need to be with her, does it? Yi Xiu asked. Ah. Uh. Chen Guo was taken aback for a moment before realizing who the person he was pressing onto the chair was. Yi Chiu, the great god. The operator of Dou Shen Yi Yi Zhi Chiu, honor textbook, one of the four great tactical masters, and number one among professional players. No need. Chen Guo hadn't said anything yet, and Tang Ro had already sat on the nearby chair, and she had also come to fight. Okay, Yi Xiu shrugged. By the way, Yi Sh, Yi Xiu, your account is just level 20, right? Do you need to borrow an account for you? Chen Guo suddenly asked, what profession did you transfer from your new account? No rotation, Yi Xiu said. Ah. Playing with scattered people. Chen Guo was a bit surprised. This thing is something she, who has been traveling for five years, has never experienced before, but that thing, I don't have any experience at level 50 for scattered people. Chen Guo hadn't spoken yet, and there were already people speaking among the onlookers. Now it's possible, 
the realm of gods. Su Yen chuckled lightly. What are you joking about? Level 50 God Striking Domain Challenge. Chen Guo instinctively retorted and suddenly thought for this guy, it seems like there's nothing impossible, right? After all, someone is a man who is hailed as a textbook of glory by the entire internet. Yi Xiu just smiled and turned to look at Tang Ro, I'm only at level 21, I need to go to the correction field. Oh, Tang Ro responded. Do you want to use this number? Chen Guo was taken aback. Even if you were Yi Shen, you wouldn't be so contemptuous, would you? Playing at level 21 to level 70, even if it's a correction field, it's still a big disadvantage. Old Yi, you're a bit of a bully now. How about finding a different account? Su Yen said. Yes, what profession do you want? How about I borrow a battle strategy from you? Chen Guo agreed. Individual. Yi Xiu said. Get lost. The two of them spoke in unison. Tang Ro looked at the three of them with great interest. This new network administrator is really as infuriating as Guo Guo said. Anyway, it's just a casual fight, don't be so serious, right? Tang Ro said. How do we play levels 21 and 70? Chen Gua asked. If you open the correction, there is no difference between level 21 and level 70, and the individual level 20 is already formed, Su Yen explained. That's also right. Chen Gua suddenly realized that the skill level of Sanren does not have any skills above level 20. Level 20 is the same as level 70. All right, then today I'll see the legendary Sanren. Hey, do you want to bet on some lottery? A pack of cigarettes or something? Yi Xiu asked. He ran out of food and happened to find this opportunity to continue. All right. Tang Ro chuckled and took out a red ticket and placed it on the table. I don't have any cigarettes, that's it. Keep it simple. That's okay, Yi Xiu nodded. Okay, I'll be the referee. Chen Gua took the money from Tang Ro's table and looked at Yi Xiu. What about yours? I have a precious bag here. Um. Smoke. That's okay, right. Chen Gua glanced at him. Cigarette case. Are you crazy about poverty? Chen Guo was almost furious. Well, there's no money left to buy cigarettes, Yi Xiu smiled. Chen Guo, calculate what I borrowed from you and deduct it from my salary later. Chen Guo had to cover it himself first. Thank you, boss. I'll return it to you right away, Yi Xiu smiled. You're very confident, let's start. Tang Ro chuckled lightly. At this moment, Tang Ro had not yet realized the seriousness of the matter. Let's start. Yi Xiu placed one hand on the keyboard and the other held the mouse, his tone somewhat excited. I'll be smoking soon. As the screen rotates, both sides enter the arena. Su Yen stood behind Yi Xiu with both hands in his pockets, while Chen Guo served as an off-field guide behind Tang Ro. He, who hasn't changed jobs, is called a scattered person. His skills have changed quite a bit, and the weapons in his hand can determine what profession skills he will use. Oh, Tang Ro responded, dragged by Chen Guo to the arena for over a year. She had a good understanding of skills and weapons, but what weapon is that in his hand? Ah. Uh. Chen Guo got stuck and didn't see what it was. Xianji Umbrella, said Su Yen behind Yi Xiu, is a deformable weapon designed specifically for scattered individuals. In Wu. Chen Guo was taken aback. Hmm. Su Yen nodded, In Wu. As they spoke, the battle between the two had already begun. Jun Mo Shao, holding a thousand machine umbrella, quickly approached the Zuyangxia controlled by Tang Ro. Tang Ro did not show any weakness. With a heavy artillery lift, a series of bullets burst out in a burst, but could not stop Jun Mo Zhao's footsteps. The Z-shaped tremble dodged the bullets and quickly approached Zuyangxia. 
Z.Jitter is a glorious technique used in Su Yan's Shadow Step, where the character moves in a Z. shape to avoid long dot range attacks from the opponent during a thrust, allowing for precise avoidance of attacks. A few flashes, Jun Mo Xiao has already rushed to the face of chasing Yan Xiao, and a swordsman drew his sword and swiftly struck. Tang Ro was startled and quickly jumped backwards to avoid the sword. With a raised muzzle, she prepared to use a flying cannon to quickly distance herself. However, at this moment, Jun Mo Zhao's umbrella flipped over into a spear, and the precise grasp of the tactical round dance stick made her fall. I'll go. Isn't that a sword? Why did it turn into a spear again? I said it's deformable, Su Yen explained. When Ziyangxia, who had fallen to the ground, stood up again, Jun Ma Xiao's thousand machine umbrella in his hand had transformed into a gun and cannon shape, with a series of bullets shooting out in a burst. Tang Ro had no choice but to maneuver and dodge the smoke and mist. The gun has changed again. The onlookers exclaimed in amazement. At this moment, someone finally recognized Yi Xiao's character and said, Isn't that Jun Mo Xiao? I'll go. It's really him. Ten District Ox People On the first night of the opening session, there were three first kills. The three major guilds were eager to take them, but they wouldn't go. So what does he want? The voices of the audience did not affect the battle between the two, as they lifted their heavy cannons amidst the smoke. I caught you. Bang. One shot, Jun Mo's smile turned into smoke. Immediately after, another Jun Mo Xiao appeared in front of Zuyangxia. The clone. Next, Jun Mo smiled and probed his spear, using the heavenly strike technique to lift Zhu Yan Xia away. Then, as soon as Zhu Yan Xia landed, Jun Mo Xiao had already flashed behind him, using his assassin's skill to cut his throat. A thread of blood bloomed from Zhu Yan Xia's throat. This attack, which was meant to be fatal for ordinary people, would not be fatal if placed in honor. Then, Jun Mo Xiao went berserk with the swordsman's skill of mountain shattering and knocked down Zhu Yan Xiao. Before she could get up, she stepped on it, and the muzzle of the thousand machine umbrella black hole in her hand, which had transformed into a gun shape, burst into brilliant sparks. Sharpshooter skill, step shooting. By the time the skill was over, Jun Mo Xiao would have disappeared long ago. Tang Ro was about to operate to chase the mist when a stone hit her. HP.1 ahead, Jun Mo smiled as a green skinned goblin stood beside him, constantly smashing stones in his hand. Chasing the misty clouds overhead. HP1, HP1 not much harm, extremely insulting the masses can't bear to watch anymore. How many tricks does this guy have? Newcomers and new books, seeking support. End of this chapter.